Morning guys, ah, beautiful day today, lots of westerlies, it's going to be a bit bumpy, bit of a different thing today. We're heading over to Cowra which is direct east from Sydney, about 115 miles, so it's less than an hour in the RV. Uh, we're heading over there to look at the progress of my other little plane which is a LSA, um, it's a sports star. One of the students flying it had a really hard landing, bashed the right wing. As you can see, I'll put some pictures up, and um, so it's been in for repair for months now. So I'm going to head over there and see what it's all about, and hopefully we get it back soon. This individual reckons he didn't notice when he hit the wing. Let me know what you think. All right, well, we're going to head off and do our run-ups. Then we're going to make a big circular maneuver over the airfield and head west over the range. Oh yeah, that's an interesting one there, making sure you do the checks because of the parachute harnesses, it feels like you got your harness on, so had I not run through my checks I would have taken off without that, so just a, another reason why checklists are so great. Alright, I think we're all good. Um, let's head for runway 26. Tangoska is overhead the airfield, 3000, heading for Kaura, uh, cruise levels um, 3500, climbing to 8500, Chahab. Autopilot, uh, track and out, HSI. Folks, so we're halfway down the trip, 8,500, we're just cruising uh, west, so at the moment we're just above the clouds here, absolutely beautiful, stunning, stunning views, and uh, we've checked our final destination, plenty of holes through the clouds, so we're okay there, uh, but in the meantime we're just going to sit back on autopilot and uh, enjoy the beautiful scenery and, and keep our eye on the instruments and any potential planes in the area. So we'll see you in about, oh, what's our ETA? It's only uh, 20 minutes. Final runway three. 
one thing I've squeezed into the RV, believe it or not, is uh, that. And we are going to go and to the local course in Kara and see if we can hit a few balls around. So let's uh, get a taxi and get underway. See you shortly. Right, a successful par on the first, and this is the second uphill. Ah, middle of the fairway, green's not too far away, let's see if we can get a party. Oh man, I've got to show you this part three shot, holy moly, I'll take that. Let's see if we can get back to par. Apart from being the home of the Brumby factory, Kara is famous for its origin as a prisoner of war camp in the Second World War, as well as its gold discovered in the 1880s. In 1944, over 500 Japanese soldiers attempted a breakout from the prisoner of war camp, rushing machine guns. 231 died and 108 were wounded. Kara is now home to many Japanese prisoner of war graves and also holds some of the dead from the Darwin Harbor attack. Today, there is a beautiful Japanese garden to commemorate this history. And it is also a wonderful area known as the Lachlan Valley for New South Wales wine and agriculture. Now you, uh, you arrive at a little country town and you're looking forward to one of those beautiful breakfasts where the cafes are sprawling onto the sidewalks. Cowra, I'll find anything. Not so great. We'll keep going up here, see what we can find. That's what I'm talking about. I see a coffee sign and an umbrella. Let's go and check it out. Very nice. Let's give it a try. All right. Well, that was an unusual breakfast. Um, waffles with bacon and cream on top. Strange, but great coffee was awesome. Anyway, the reason we came here to Kaura was to check on the repairs of the Sports Star, which is a little LSA plane, um, and it's in the Brumby factory. Now, Brumby is a factory. They make LSA planes. It's an Australian brand um, run by Paul Gord, and not only that, we're also dropping the RV in just to get the nose cone painted and to get buff out some window cracks. So we'll see you at the airport or at the Brumby factory. Good morning. Well, we're here at the Brumby factory um, and we are just having a look at the Sports Star that's being repaired. This is the Sports Star. Right, this is the left hand wing. They had to pull this one off just to measure against the right hand wing because it's not the Evector factory. So, if we move through here, we'll see the wing that was actually damaged in the accident. Here we go. So this is all being redone. It's been reskinned, new um, spars been put in, and it's ready to go into the painting booth. So hopefully that'll be ready in a couple of weeks, along with the new engine, and the sports style will be as good as new. So with me is Paul Gord. He's from the Brumby factory. He's the um, Son of Phil, and did Phil start it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a bit about uh, Brumby? Brumby was uh, made in 2005, the first low wing. We oh. produced our first one, then got it certified. And then uh, since then, yeah, we've produced many low wing and high wing. Now we're producing the, the bigger one with the 141 horsepower and the 760 kilo limit, so about 135 knot cruise, which is yeah, pretty good for a. That is very good for an LSA. 23 litres an hour, and um, 
Yeah, pretty exciting. My solo flight in January 2016 was in a Brumby 600. In fact, here's a pic of me jump-starting the plane before one of my flights. This is also actual footage of my solo. I found it very stable, easy to fly, and that gave me huge confidence to pursue this amazing adventure we call aviation. They were going in that, in that little rocket over there. That, oh, the old the uh, RV. The RV over there, yes. Well, that's going to be a bit of fun. And um, is that a, a Rotax uh, yeah, 912? Yeah, that's a 912 over there yeah. with the aftermarket turbo. So yeah. that's also 141 horsepower. Wow. But the one we're producing is the bigger, the 915 engine, yeah. which is 141 horsepower as well. But I think that the genuine Rotax 141 will be a bigger, powerful engine than the Fantastic. aftermarket. Yeah. yeah. And uh, tell us about this little plane. Brumby. Yeah, this is the high wing. Your high wing, so it's very big inside, very wide. Yeah. Sliding seats, tow brakes, um, dual controls, so very docile stall. Doesn't really stall. Trim wheel in the centre, so it's set up just like a Cessna 172 for training. Yeah. It's got the glass cockpit. This one's got a few modern cons. It's got the in-flight adjustable propeller and the aftermarket oh, wow. turbo. Okay. So um. So it's a bit different to the one that different. I flew back. Yeah, very you, different. Yeah, you flew back two years ago. You flew it? the standard one back. So yeah, this one they put the aftermarket turbo on. Oh yeah, yeah. And then they run the intercooler, and then um, another cowl on this one, of course. So this should get along at about. I think this will do about 135 knots at seven and a half thousand indicated. That's amazing. Um, that's what the other one was doing and without it, the constant speed yeah, on it. Yeah, wow. And it's carrying all of this drag. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's fantastic. And it, it'll be a very yeah. docile cruiser. Oh, it's um, a yeah. yeah. 140 oh. litres of fuel, so. Fantastic. Yeah, got plenty of time. Wow. Well, thanks for that, Paul. Pleasure. I've got to walk around. You're also fixing the um, the sports star. That's just yep. about done. Yeah, just got to go into the... She'll go in the paint shop next week for the yep. wings. Wings are all rebuilt with new spa, yep. um, all new skins and some new ribs. And uh, we'll tidy up a bit of paintwork and then we'll put the tailplane on and the wings on last. Brilliant. Some new brake lines and a new new engine and she'll be good, as good for another 2,000 hours. New engine, fantastic, yeah. So, yeah, that'll all be right. good. Well, wonderful. Well, thanks for talking to us. Pleasure. And uh, we'll be heading off to Wollongong shortly. So. I'll open the doors. Okay, cheers. <laughs> All right, and the RV Paul's been walk working on here, he's given it a beautiful buff. We've um, polished the whole thing, the canopy is really done. And the most exciting thing of all, look at this nose cone. Wow. That looks beautiful. Jeez, doesn't that look good? That's what it should look like. Eh? Yeah, well it's come up nice, so it's always nice to have it shiny and oh, yeah. looking good. Yeah. Canopy's all polished up, so. That looks great. Oh, wow. I made it back to uh, Shell Harbour Airport. I actually ended up bringing Paul along. Um, Paul Goard, I think I pronounced his name Goard earlier. Apologise, Paul Goard uh, from Brumby. He flew down with me. Fantastic opportunity um, to fly with a guy who's done over 4,000 hours of all sorts of war birds. He really tightened up some of those skills that I need to tighten up. That was a great experience. So, also, what he's done is he, he was the original, the guy who painted the RV. So that paintwork there, with the beautiful um, fuselage, was done by Paul at his factory in Cowra. So that was my little trip to Cowra, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, another one of the lovely little New South Wales towns. So who knows where I'll go next. He and I are going to have a lot of fun. Okay, we'll see you next time. Cheers guys, bye.